the major foramina that are present in the skull. So in this, we are discussing about three parts. One is the sphenoid bone foramina. The second one is the foramen lacerum. And the third one is the jugular foramen. Because these three foramens are these three parts of the foramen we are asking regularly. So that's why we are discussing about these three parts. First come to the sphenoid bone. So whatever is present, this entire part here, this entire part is actually the sphenoid bone. So within the sphenoid bone, you can see here there are three foramen are present in sequence. You can see the first foramen here, and this foramen is called as foramen rotundum. Foramen rotundum. This is the first foramen that is present in case of the base of the skull of the sphenoid bone. Just behind, can you see a oval shaped foramen is present? And that foramen is called as foramen oval. Foramen oval. Oval. And further behind, there is one more small foramen here, this part. This is called as foramen spinosum. Foramen spinosum. So these three foramina are present in the base of the skull with respect to the top sphenoid bone. Now we had seen the foramina. Let's see the contents because next time they may ask what is the content of this foramina. So we have to be ready with the next questions also that can be asked. So let's discuss about the contents that are present inside this. Inside the foramen rotundum, the now that passes is called as the maxillarina. Maxillarina. And what are the structures that are passing through the second foramen called as foramen oval is male through oval. Just remember the mnemonic as male through oval. M is for mandibular now. M is for mandibular now. A is for accessory meningeal artery. L is for lesser petrosal now and E is for emissary vein. So these male structures will pass through for veil. You just remember like that. Male through oval. So these are the four structures that are passing through the second foramina of the base of the skull within the sphenoid bone that is foramen oval. And the third foramina is called as the foramen spinosum because the spine of the sphenoid is related there. That's why it is called as foramen spinosum. Now, through that foramen spinosum, two structures will be passing. One is the artery called as middle meningeal artery. Just now in the previous questions, we had discussed about uh, in the terion, which structure is present, this middle meningeal artery. And this middle meningeal artery is actually passing through foramen spinosum. And one now is also present called as nervous spinosus. So, two structures are passing through the foramen spinosus. So just to conclude, with respect to the sphenoid bone, there are at the, towards the base of the skull, there are three foramina in a sequence, in a sequence. Just remember the sequence as ROS, ROS foramina, ROS. The first foramina is called as rotundum, second is oval and S is for spinosum. And through the, through the foramen rotundum, it's a maxillarina. And through the foramen oval is the male through oval structures. And through the foramen spinosum, one artery, one now. The artery is the middle meningeal artery. And then now that is going is nervous spinosus.